As you walk past the huge engine, there's the smell of oil. You can also hear steam escaping. And then there's the heat, which is really intense. Just up a little bit further on the left, there's one of the paddles slapping away at the river. You walk up a few creaky stairs that stretch over two levels, and now you're standing on top of the PS Ruby. It's out on the river today to try and make people aware just how important these boats are to the region. I think the, the heritage boats are extremely important to keep alive that history that we have on the rivers. Greg Evans is skippering the PS Ruby. It's really important to consider also just how important on the world scale this is too because the Murray River in Australia has the largest fleet of original boats operating and that's a, a really good feather in our cap and that's due to the hard work of the volunteers that we have running this boat today. Uh, there are many of these vessels running along the river from people looking at the PS Ruby on the shores today, it looks pretty straightforward and simple to take the boat out. How, how much work is involved in taking the boat out on the river? It's an extremely busy time for the volunteers. It, it requires maintenance of the vessel constantly. And uh, of course the, the vessel must be in, uh, in ship shape condition. It is surveyed by the Maritime, uh, New South Wales Maritime and Transport and they require it to be at a safety standard that's set by them. We have to maintain a crew that are qualified also and uh, in our case here on the Ruby we're all volunteers. It's always uh, you know really exciting to get someone involved and be part of this history to see them get their qualifications it's, it's just uh, we need more and more people doing that but obviously the just to get this boat out on the water as as we have today there's 10 crew on board so that's that's worth uh, consideration, you know, it's a lot of people, yeah. If we head back down to the boiler room, standing right on the water level is Alan Barch. He's the engineer on board the Ruby. The engine is right next to us and it's sizzling and bubbling from its two hour trip on the river. Yeah, they got a bit of a heart with the, uh, the boat, these things. You know, this one was built in, uh, what is it, 1926 and yeah, she's um, almost as good as a day it was uh, built. And, yeah, they're lovely things. It, it looks very complicated. How hard is it to drive? Not much. It's it's pretty good. Um, you just everything's got to be well oiled. That's the thing. The engine needs a lot of lubrication. So if you do that right, it's pretty simple. Well, what sort of uh, things do you think attracts people to these boats? Oh, I think the history, and it's not a lot of places you see these uh, steam engines and paddle steamers uh, operating. It's, uh, it's the history that they come and see. How important are they to the rivers? Oh, quite a bit. They bring these uh, boats back from the, uh, virtually from the graveyard, are uh, quite a big thing to relive our history. And if, we, if these volunteers weren't doing it, the uh, people couldn't see it. What sort of drives your passion then? Oh, just the love of them. I've been working on boats for the last 40 years now just the heart of the uh, river, you know, the, the way it was 100 years ago, and I like keeping them going so people can come and see them. And what about the future? What, what can you see in, uh, in the future for these boats? Oh, future's pretty good. I think, um, you know, if people like the councils that are running this one um, can see there's a draw car to the area and keeps drawing people in, it, people hang around and see other things. So it's, uh, the boats are, have got a future especially for the tourist trade, yes. Are there many young people sort of interested in running these boats now? No, unfortunately there's not. There's uh, very few young ones coming up, especially on the boiler side of it, because uh, it's dirty, heavy work, so they don't like getting dirty. <laughs> so what's the answer there then? Uh, if you do find somebody that's uh, interested, you sort of encourage them and you've got to get them involved, and that's the only thing. You can't make them, but if there's somebody there, hopefully um, they, they stick to it. There's a huge amount of history behind these boats and skipper Greg Evans says it's really important that it's not forgotten about. They pioneered opening up our inland parts of Australia. It was a fairly brief, uh, I guess, history in our time, but probably one of the most important and one of the least advertised, if you like, and talked about. But it is, um, without uh, maintaining that history, uh, we're going to lose it, yeah, so we have to keep um, going with that. But also there is, there becomes a real passion. I mean, I, I've been on the river most of my life and uh, 
unfortunately you get that Murray River water in your veins and it's pretty hard to get out.